Hello and welcome to the channel. We're going to do a quick update on our spring 2024 growing season and we're going to start off with one of our blackberry varieties called Ponca. Now this variety I planted for the first time last year. These were new rows last year and uh, Ponca is a very sweet berry from what I'm told. I haven't had any yet but it looks like I got quite a few flowers in there from last year's growth. Now Ponca will fruit on second year wood which is called a, a floricane. So the floricane is your second year your second year growth and that's when they flower. Now the primacanes which is a first year growth that won't get any berries this year is coming up real thick right now. So you see these real thick canes here in the center that are taller than all the rest these are the these are the primacanes now next year these will get berries on them and what I've done here is just above the wire I've tipped them and see I've pinched off a little bit of the top just the top off of each one of these new canes and what that'll do is that'll send out lateral growth you see these little branches coming out here those are your laterals and now this will split up here and you'll get all kinds of new growth out of there in the weeks to come and you'll get twice as many berries if not more off of that branch than you would now these weren't these weren't tipped last year the first year growth tends to get a little thinner and leggier and sprawls across the ground then I came through and I tipped them in the spring and I fastened them into the wire with my taper all these flowers that you see here that's from last year's growth and those will be berries eventually and then these new canes like I said these real thick robust canes these are my new canes uh, this is gonna have berries on it next year this will winter, winter over and you can see I've tipped them as well all right and this variety again this is called Ponca I'm looking forward to that Right here, I have them tagged so you can see. Sweet Ark Ponca. This is another row of Ponca here. I heard they were really sweet, so I planted two rows of them. And they seem to be doing pretty well, especially these new canes coming up are beautiful. They're really thick and vigorous. Here's one, look at this. Look at the laterals on that thing already. This, this cane is only, you know, maybe two foot tall maybe a little more it's already sending out these big beautiful laterals I haven't even tipped it yet but when I do I'll wait till it's up up near the top of my wire because that's where I want the majority of my berries to be right up it you know about chest level for me where I can just reach in halfway from either side and pick them real nice and easy I don't want them down low to the ground that just see this first year growth you got a lot of that real low but next year the berries will all be up here over here we have a different type of variety this is called Primark Freedom and any berry that starts with the the prime means you're gonna get fruit not only on your flora canes the second year, but you're going to get them on your first year canes as well, your prima canes. So, these are last year's canes right here. They're already getting berries. If you look in here, there you get a nice little berry starting right there. And all these little flowers will eventually be berries. Now, those were tipped last year. And they didn't winter over real good for me. I have to admit that. And they're a little brittle. The, the laterals seem to break off real easy. But I'm hoping that all changes with my new canes that are coming up this year. See, I've come through here. This is a new cane. And I've tipped it. Tip this one here. Tip this one there. I just did that a little while ago. So, uh they haven't really started pushing the laterals yet but they will they certainly will here's another nice new cane look how thick these new ones are they're beautiful so I'm hoping for a better success now this these canes here that I'm tipping today they will get fruit on them 
at the end of summer hopefully not too late last year the fruit we lost the majority of it to frost they, they just uh, bared a little too late for this zone in Pennsylvania I hope that changes I hope they they bear fruit a little earlier this year they may because of already being established but this is a, a new variety for me and again this is called Primark Freedom look at all these new canes on the end here it's really pushing now I fertilized these about a month ago when they've just first started to show buds and when they were just starting some of the varieties and this variety here this is another variety this is called Natchez and uh, this is a very compact variety you can see between the, the, the laterals it's a short distance and they're real dense so this is uh, this variety here is one that fruits on its second year so I didn't get anything off of these last year and this will be my first year first year tasting the Natchez it didn't do as good for me as some of the other varieties but it looks like this year I'm getting uh, substantially more growth so I'm, I have I have uh, hope for this variety yet to, to do well for me They're real nice big white flowers but it didn't do as well as some of the other varieties did for me here in Pennsylvania I'm in zone zone uh, 6b now here this variety this did outstanding for me this is called a Washita and when you just look down that row at all them flowers look how thick this filled in in just one year's growth this is last year's growth they were little twigs when I planted them nothing to look at just a tiny little pencil sticking out of the ground and they took off now I'm starting to get new growth right here you can see the new primacane coming up that'll get fruit on it next year and all this stuff that has flowers on it that'll all die off after uh, it sets fruit it'll senesce and, and uh, die off and, and the new canes will be coming up for next year's growth but uh, this is just amazing uh, oh what do I have here one two three four five six. I think I have 12 plants in this row and you can just see all the flowers in here all the flowers up oh, look here's some new new canes coming up right here coming up through the center these all draped over to the wire I have them pulled to either side the new canes will come up in the center and doing it this V trellis method keeps it really nice and neat and keeps your centers open somewhat so your your new uh, your new canes have have uh, sunlight and room this is going to be interesting real soon so again this variety is called Washita. Would you look at? The, let me let's look down inside here. Look at that new cane coming up in there. Look how look how thick that is. That's awesome. It's coming up into here, and this is it right here, breaking through the canopy. And soon, I'll just pinch that off when it gets a little bit taller. I like it to be just a little over the wire, a little over the wire height like this one here this is a couple inches over the wire and you can see I've nipped that off there that one did probably the best for me the, the most amount of growth and uh, just look how full that row is compared to the others it's just amazing now we get into the raspberries here this variety here is called Joan Jay this is a red raspberry just produces and produces all year long you'll get a crop your first year on your primacane and uh, if you winter it over you'll get another crop which is what these are forming right now these are from last year's growth and uh, that's a floricane your second year second year wood now these are all new 
and these will these will produce you know this this fall I have another row of John Jay over here which again that is a red raspberry and you can see they're gonna be loaded I didn't get my trellis on this yet so uh, that was a big mistake I'm gonna put it up uh, probably in a week or two when I get my materi more materials I ran out of T posts and wire and this variety down here is called Anne. This is the yellow variety. You can see that's loaded with little buds. And this is going to be full of yellow, yellow berries. Some people call them white raspberries. They're a little pale. They don't look as pretty as the package. But they are so good. And they seem to be a favorite where I take, take them to sell. Uh, people fight over them. They pay dearly for them. So... This is the yellow variety called Anne. And then I have uh, another variety coming in here. This is called Nova. This is a red variety. This is a rounder red raspberry, more shaped like a black raspberry and not the elongated raspberry like the, the, the Joan Jays are. So this is another one that'll produce two crops. One in the spring, one a first year cane. I mean one in the fall the first year cane and then if you winter them over you will have another crop in the spring and then this cane will die the, the second year wood will die after they produce fruit in the spring so this will all open up and I'll be getting new new canes coming up out of the the Nova looking forward to this this is my first year. All these were planted last year. All these raspberries were planted last year. And this is going to be my first real harvest. And then I got some strawberries in here. These are left over from last year. I'm going to ready to pick a couple small ones and then I'll rip them out. Here we got a brand new row I just planted. This is double, double gold. Double gold. And that's another yellow raspberry. And these are brand new plants they were just a cane that I planted and you see the old cane I got here and you cut them off after you plant them you want to cut them off real low and then that just sends all your strength into developing roots and new shoots is which is what you want you don't want to nurse a second year cane that's just the way they come and okay I got some berries over here some strawberries these are I think these are some Chandlers here. Are these Chandlers? Yeah, these are Chandlers. The chickens got in here and stripped all the leaves off them. These are naughty. And then over here, these are uh, uh, Camino Real. And these do real well for me. You can see they are just loaded. I got a little bit of problem in there. Some some disease it looks like or maybe the chickens were pecking at them i try to keep the nets on them to keep it off but they just they love strawberry leaves for some reason they just really love them now down here we got a black raspberry and uh, this variety is called mac black i planted these last year they were little little plugs that i got just tiny little things just uh thinner than a pencil twig and uh, I put them in here and irrigated them real well. And I put, uh, I think I bought 12 plants. I spaced them out pretty decent. The first year canes kind of sprawled across the ground. That's normal. But now the second year, the second year, these new canes that are coming up, they'll stand more erect. And I'll be doing the same type of, same type of uh, tipping on these new canes here some are now you can see they got a pale colored stem on them whereas the old wood will have you know a red stem like this does here and these will get berries on these new canes next year but not this year this variety only f produces fruit on its second year so you can see I'm gonna have 
some nice black raspberries here which is what brings the money here uh, the red raspberries bring good money but for some reason the locals love the black raspberries more than the red all right there's two new plants i just stuck in there and i propagated so there you have it those are the raspberries i'll have to do a separate video on the orchard i got a little orchard i just started here a few years ago so it's not a lot of trees i think uh, between this side's peaches and cherries and the other side my plums and pears are on the other side of the yard so maybe i'll do a separate video on the orchard trees because we're starting to get some nice growth off of them all right well there you have it that's just uh what what's going on here with the berries this year and again this variety is called mac black i have another variety called, that i haven't planted yet which is a uh, an ever bearing variety nivot and uh I just got those little plugs and I have them in pots right now so I'm not worried about putting them in because I'm just going to nurse them in pots for now. Alright, well there you have it. Thanks for watching. I'll give you a quick shot of the up there. That's where the pear trees and the plum trees are and the blueberries are up there and chestnuts. So, there you have that. So, uh, I appreciate you watching. Any questions, just leave them in the comments. I check all that stuff. Oh, look here. Before we go, looky, looky. We got some strawberries that are ready to pick. How about that? Huh. Well, it won't be long till the rest are coming in. Let's see. Let's see what... Uh, that one we can take. The other one's a little pale yet, but this one here. Let's try that and see how it is. Mmm, good, even though it's hot. I like my fruit a little cooler than that, but it's delicious just the same. It's a firm berry, very firm. Could be a little sweeter. First ones aren't usually the best ones. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you when something else is happening when we start getting some some uh, nicer berries and they start to ripen up. I'll make another video. All right. Well, thanks. Take care.